Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Oh, how we love the little computer in our pocket, cell phones. However, it's not so lovely trying to find a good cell phone plan that works with the budget. So today on the College Investor Audio Show, that's what we're looking at, the best prepaid cell phone plans in 2020. So you know when it comes to cell phone plans, it's really easy to overpay. They like to jack up the price. When it comes to prepaid plans, though, there are tons of options, each with different strengths. So today, we rank them. These are the top prepaid cell phone plans. Let's go. The best for moderate data users. Moderate data users tend to be connected to Wi-Fi for most of their phone usage, like if you're at home most of the time. So they'll typically download podcasts before streaming them and only play games or use social media apps when they're connected to the internet. However, when they're on the go, they might use GPS, messaging apps, or do a quick online search. Mint Mobile 3GB Plan. That's kind of a mouthful. But Mint Mobile's 3GB Plan offers unlimited talk and text with up to 3 gigs of data per month. Additional data can be purchased separately. The plan costs 15 bucks a month, but the pricing d- depends on paying in bulk. You'll need to put up 180 bucks for a full year worth of coverage to get the $15 a month pricing. I've personally been happy with Mint's coverage capabilities, and I can even get a signal in fairly remote areas. Users who are a bit, you know, heavier on the data usage might want to upgrade to the 8 gig per month plan, which is $20 a month. Still, come on, that's not bad. Google Fi, 20 bucks a month, and it offers no data. Whoops. <laughs> 1 gig per month is 10 bucks, but you only pay for the percentage that you use. Pretty interesting. The plan has some nice bells and whistles for moderate data users, too. First, it comes with free international texting and international calling at just a cent, a, a one cent, I should say, per minute. Moderate data users are likely to come away with fairly inexpensive bills most months. All right, so here are the best plans for heavy data users. Since heavy data users aren't too careful about data consumption on their phone, their phone habits are the same, whether they're connected to Wi-Fi or not. They may send and receive emails on their bus commute, stream podcasts while on a walk, browse Instagram at the park, or watch a movie on a road trip. Heavy data users, you know who you are. You might also turn your phone into a hotspot from time to time. Mint Mobile's unlimited plan costs just $30 a month and it comes with 5 gigs of hotspot tethering. If you're a heavy data user, it's hard to go wrong with such a deal like that. Yeah, I know. The only drawback is that you'll need to pay for 12 months up front to get the $30 a month pricing. So that $360 payment can be kind of tough to swallow. Visible. So Visible runs on Verizon's network and offers unlimited talk, text, and data for 40 bucks a month for single lines. But the carrier also offers party plans... People with two people on a bill, people with two people, that's funny, can get coverage for $35 a month. Three users cuts the cost to 30 bucks per line per month, and four users, just $25 a month. This is a great way to share costs with your family, significant other, or friends. Now, let's take a look at the best family plans. Family plans, or party lines, woohoo, are ideal for those who want to save money on several lines. Both companies listed offer four lines for 25 bucks per line, and they both offer unlimited talk, text, and data. Cricket. Cricket Wireless's family plans run on the AT&T network. We all know that's huge. And its best deal for four people is $100 a month unlimited talk, text, and data. Speeds are limited to 8 megabits per second, which is more than enough for most cell phone activities. Visible. So as mentioned above, Visible runs on Verizon's network and offers unparalleled coverage in the U.S. The unlimited plan even beats Mint Mobile's unlimited pricing. Whoa. So here's um, some best choices for people crossing international borders. Most people are relatively stationary right now during the COVID-19 pandemic, 
but some people still need to travel across borders for work or personal reasons. These plans offer coverage outside of the U.S. for competitive prices. Remember, you can always connect your phone to Wi-Fi to use messaging apps or video chat, so these plans are only ne a necessity for people who need to use data or make calls internationally while not connected to the Internet. Google Fi. 20 bucks a month, and it offers no data. It's a gig per month is 10 bucks, like we mentioned earlier, but you only pay for the percentage that you use. The unlimited plan costs $70 a month. If you're a frequent international traveler, you might chew through that data on your trip. However, the text and calling will not run up the bill. International calling is just a, a penny a minute, and international texting is free. T-Mobile Simply Prepaid. T-Mobile makes its first appearance on the list with their Simply Prepaid plan includes unlimited talk, text, and 10 gigs of data per month for 40 bucks. For an additional 5 bucks a month, users can get unlimited calling to and from Canada and Mexico. You can also add international calling, including to landlines, for $15 additional per month. Best plans for people in rural areas. Those living in rural areas are likely to experience some spotty coverage, to say the least. I've been there. Unless they've got a great prepaid plan, this plan maximizes coverage area while keeping costs moderate. Verizon prepaid. Verizon easily has the best coverage network in the U.S. As a Verizon customer, you can expect full coverage in all of the most remote parts of the country. A single line starts at 40 bucks a month for 5 gigs of data. Unlimited data costs 65 per month. Xfinity Mobile. This is an ideal plan for existing Xfinity customers. Those who aren't customers need to pay an additional $20 a month per line. Hmm. It offers unlimited talk and text all over Verizon's coverage network, plus 1 gig of data for 15 bucks a month. 3 gigs is $30 in unlimited 45 bucks a month. Additional lines, such as your watch or tablet, can be added for $10 a month. There is a drawback to this plan. It comes with limited bring-your-own-device options. So here's the best plan for no data. The bare bones, talk and text plan designed for people who really don't need much data at all. If you've got solid Wi-Fi at home, don't rely on GPS, these plans can save you a bunch. Tello. Tello's basic plans includes 500 minutes, unlimited text, and no data. The carrier operates on Sprint's network, so coverage can be spotty, except in urban areas. Although they did just merge with T-Mobile, so it probably should be a little bit better now. Despite the bare bones, Tello definitely comes through on cost. The basic plan runs you just $7 a month. What? <laughs> During this pandemic and potentially beyond... It's possible to keep data costs extremely low by using Wi-Fi all the time, too. Best for people who never use their phone. Very few people can live without a cell phone, but some people rarely use their personal lines. Here are some plans for the phone you keep at home for kids who are too young for their own cell phones. It might be a good plan for someone who uses a work cell phone but wants to keep their personal number. Regardless of the reason, these are plans for people who really don't use their phones all that much. T-Mobile PayGo. For three bucks a month, you get 100 minutes of talk, 100 texts, and 100 megabits of data. Enough for like a few iMessages per month. Additional talk minutes cost three cents per minute, and additional texts are a penny a minute, or a text, I should say. Data has to be purchased on a per day basis. 500 megabits can be purchased for five bucks, and it is only usable for 24 hours. A 7-day, 1-gig pass costs $10. It's easy to see how these costs could add up. However, $3 a month is a steal for those who need a phone, but rarely use it. Tello. The basic plan, like we talked about earlier, 500 minutes of talk, unlimited text, and just $7 a month. Might, might be a much better option. So those who rarely use their phone except for two-factor authentication, or maybe making plans with friends will appreciate the low costs of this one. And that's our show for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. You can take a look at this article and find some links and all kinds of different resources too, because we just want to help you out. It's all at thecollegeinvestor.com. 
Thanks again. We'll talk to you again very soon.